Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 52 of Let's Platinum God of War Ragnarok. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Okay, let's use... Hang on. Actually, you know what? This might be alright. Ooh, that's actually a genius idea. Come on. No! Gotta pay attention to the attack markers. Careful, careful, careful. Come on, good stun. Let's go. Oh, go, go, go. Dodge. <laughs> Gosh, this is a good tactic. <laughs> I like my moves are not getting... Oh, yes I did it. <laughs> Before we continue, oh, I can't do it right now. All right, that's fine. Oh, I did get it. Hey, nice. Let's go with damage. Definitely damage on this one. Protection is also good. Greatly increases resistance to damage and being st staggered during skill. That one might actually be worth it. And gosh, I got up to twenty-one for that. Yeah, definitely use that that move. That 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 was perfect. Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. You served Odin from the day you left to the day he put you in that tree. You sought our favor. You wanted his war. You watched him mistreat everyone and everything. And you yeah. <laughs> I think with that one, I forgot exactly what was going to happen, so... Oh my god. <laughs> it is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. I don't know how I survived that. <laughs> Brother, the thief! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Mother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Go in, take it! Atreus! I'm scared! Oh yeah, haven't used that one yet. Ah, oh, crap. This one's also quite difficult. No! Ah! I pressed the L1 button to... It's... These fights are so freaking hard. But based on how I did the... The first one and the second one, there is some kind of trick. I don't know what it is, but there is some kind of trick. One thing I like doing with that, uh, Mist of Helheim, the... Runic attack. Oh my gosh. 
is if you hold L1 R2 after you use it, you can go straight into the uh, that move that I haven't used that much of. Oh my god, game, come on! Let me just have one freaking second to react. <laughs> God, I can't. I can't. <laughs> they just keep tricking me. Sometimes they delay their attack, sometimes they don't. I, I wanted to actually usurp and snare there. It's funny because I'm doing like really good damage against them. Stop, please. First, it won't give it to me. There we go. One more, more, one more. Alright, I think I got it all. Finally. I think it's over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. That was great. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. Okay, so before we do this, I want to have a quick look at the beast tree because we got a lot of stuff there. So we got probably the two bottom ones. Thick armor makes a brute hard to interrupt. It'll take something more than ordinary. Okay, no, we had that one before. Brutes can throw a vicious haymaker, but disrupt it and you'll have a tidy opening to counter. I don't think anything else there. Uh, I didn't read this one. A cousin of Flame Grathunga, these beasts have opted to utilize ice in their attacks rather than their hot headed relatives. Uh, don't. The, the, uh, yeah, no, we, we did that one. Drecky. All of these I think are fine. Ice Nightmare. Ice Nightmares will look straight up before firing their Ice Projectile, either get out of the way or hit them with something ranged. Use ranged weapons to knock Nightmares to close to the ground where you can easily finish them off with melee attacks. Gloom Nightmares, Exploding Nightmares, 
Uh, is there anything else? The Dark Hills, I don't think so. Hell Revenant? No, we had that one. Mid Guardian. Fierce Wolver, Fierce Ogre, we read. And our oh, Frost Phantom, we didn't read that one. While a single runic spring can leak enough magic to create wisps, multiple springs can summon something far deadlier. The chaotic power that these springs draw from can manifest into a creature that is both awe-inspiring and terrifying. As long as those runic spring springs remain intact, a phantom will continue to draw magic from them to fuel its continued existence. And Seether. Interrupt her if it's some nightmares before it's too late. Yeah, okay, we read that one too. Legion. Curse of Noken Shadow. Okay, I think that's everything, so let's keep going. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. I don't think there's anything down here, but I never, I don't think I've ever fully explored this. I mean, I probably did, I just I don't remember. I like how it's called the Kelpie, and there's just so much kelp all over the place. Let's have a look at that actually. Uh, we've got Beaten, no, it's not Beastry, it's probably Friends, uh, which is under Law. Kelpie. Our search for the Norns led us to a mystical horse. Mamiya called it a Kelpie. It walked upon the water, transformed, and then dived down beneath the surface, carrying us to the Norns in, a sanc in the Sanctum. I expect our departure to be no less unpleasant. May the Norns make this journey worthwhile. Look at this. So cool looking. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, a way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut up! up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. 
because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt Omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are Everything. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. Mm. All right, so that, what an amazing scene that was. I love the ending to that where they turn around and walk away and like Fre uh, Freya is like walking so closely behind Kratos. They, re they really seem like they're now sort of together, you know, together against everyone and it's just or oh, against odin and, and asgard but it's just like oh it's so cool odin mainly all right the fates of these realms their names are earth verthani and schooled i do not know how i know this their meddling inside my mind is already proving difficult to recall yet an uneasy feeling remains no matter i remember learning heimdall is a threat to my son that is enough I don't know why, that's such a good part of the game. The setup and everything. Let's get out of here. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother. What they said about the boy? Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <laughs> yeah, I just have to set up everything about the game from this point. Just keeps elevating and elevating and elevating. They really knocked it out of the park. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but let's do it now before I forget again. I'm going to change Freya's armor again. Let's give her... I think the warrior's battle dress. It's time to time to get in the mood. Alright, because we're going to do some side questing in Midgard from this point forward. I may decide to do an hour long episode next time to try and get through as many of the Midgard side quest stuff as possible. I think that makes a lot of sense. So that way it'll take that episode and maybe another few, but we'll see. There is a lot to do in Midgard and some of it is very challenging, but man, am I going to have fun. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. It's interesting how he says I have killed gods greater than him, because 
he doesn't really know what Heimdall's powers are. Like, obviously, Mimir just told him that he's got... Uh, is it called precognition? I don't know. Uh, he's Basically, he can read minds, right? But it's interesting how he says, I've killed gods greater than him. I don't know, man. Being able to read minds is pretty damn tough. <laughs> but it's uh, but he's very confident. I mean, who wouldn't be? He's like the Mike Tyson of killing gods. <laughs> no, I see something. <laughs> uh, I think she's probably talking about this. All right, are we almost out of here? Because I would run. I wanted to get closer to the. Oh uh, yeah, that's where we started. So there's nothing here. Yep, there's nothing there. Don't think we missed anything. So let's get up here. I'll make this episode go just a little bit longer. I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe- The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Can we agree? It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Uh, I forgot where the damn Nornia chest is. <laughs> Did I miss it? Was it through here? Alright, well, we just completed this main quest. I'm gonna go down. What I might do is I might... Well, I'll end the episode, and then I might actually search for that... Ah, here it is. Okay. I was like, it's gotta be close. <laughs> I just couldn't remember exactly where it was. This is a horn, number one of four. We haven't... Oh, two or four. Okay, I was gonna say, we haven't had one in a long time. But we're about to get a bunch when we do all this side questing in Midgard. Alright, let's stop right here because I don't think they talk before jumping over this. Tell me more of your homeland. Or I could be wrong. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's stop right there. Man, I did not anticipate doing as many episodes as I did this weekend, but considering I was sick two weekends ago and I managed to maintain last week it was pretty good I think it turned they all turned out mostly okay except for that travesty that happened at the beginning of the previous episode or the episode before that I can't remember but anyway it still ended up cool for now I want to thank you all for watching episode 52 of Let's Plan of God of War Ragnarok my name is Ultima456 you're the ultimates and I'll see you next time